I just found out about this stability matrix. It has one-click installers for many text-to-image packages like Automatic 1111. It is designed for Microsoft Windows. Let's get right to installing. Scroll down on the GitHub page and click the Windows icon to download the zip. I'm going to drag and drop the zip to a more convenient location. Right-click and extract it here. It will create a folder with one .exe file in it. And that is it. That is the entire application. Let's double-click it to start it. Read and checkmark the license agreement and continue. I'm going to leave this with the default values and click Continue. For the first time setup, you can pick one of the stable Diffusion Web UI applications from this list. There is Automatic 1111, Focus with three O's, SD Next Invoke AI, Comfy UI, Volta ML, and another version of Focus. You can select any of these to begin with. You will be able to install all of them here within this application. Since I already have Automatic 1111, I will start with the Focus application. I'm going to click on Focus and click Install. This will install all the dependencies and required files and default model needed to get the application running. Once the install is complete, the application will be ready to launch by clicking on the green launch button. So let's click on the green launch button. This will launch the Python file and show the shell output here. It will also download the models on the first run. And then it will automatically launch the Gradio app. I will use the same prompt I used with the PixArt app from a previous video. And we have the duck sliding down the water slide. We can also provide an input image and select advanced options. I will select quality for performance. In the style tab, there are a whole bunch of styles. I will select anime and futuristic retro cyberpunk and game fighting game. I have no idea if I'm supposed to be able to select multiple or what that will do. Maybe I should read the documentation. Or instead, I can just click some random buttons and just see what that does. The advanced tab has a link to some documentation with details on how the different options work. Anyways, let's go ahead and generate. There is the first picture. And the second one. I like it. There are settings for pixel resolutions and number of images to generate and so forth. Anyways, we can come back to the Stability Matrix app and click on the red stop button to stop the Focus Web app. This drop-down shows the installed apps. For now, I only have Focus installed. There is an inference tab which looks like is a text-to-image generation page, which appears to be a place to generate text-to-image from within this app. The Packages tab is where you can install or launch installed packages. The Checkpoints tab shows the checkpoints and Laura's. The model browser allows you to search for and download new models. If you click search without typing anything in the filter, it should show you all the models. It looks like it is pulling these from Civit AI. Looks like you can download the model from within here by clicking on Import Latest. And you can filter these by typing something in the search box and clicking Search. You should be able to use the downloaded model with any of the installed packages like Focus or Automatic 1111. I plan on installing more packages and playing around with them by launching them from this app to see how they work. There is also a version drop-down here, so you could install a specific version of the package if you wanted to. Some of them have a branch drop-down, which looks like would correspond to a GitHub branch that package must have on GitHub. Anyways, I just wanted to share this here, as I never knew this thing existed. This Stability Matrix application was designed for Windows using c -sharp. It is the same programming language used for the DINet UI app I created. The one I created was using c -sharp for Windows Forms. This one is using c -sharp for WPF, which allows for a more modern and cleaner user interface, as we see here. This is also similar to that Pinocchio application, except this one is open source. Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for watching.